Go. We got a game, and uh, we're black. That's cool. There we go. That looks a little better. And so today we have a we have a goal to play with more intention. I've had kind of a really busy week at work, or last two weeks at work, and just with lots of other things. And so I find myself playing games like chess and Go, especially like on my phone or tablet, just very absent-minded, just like you know, brain trash removal, you know, how it is. Sometimes you're just, uh, you know, needing needing to sort of vacate your normal whatever whatever you're working on, whatever environment you're in. And you play a game as a little bit of escapism. And I think that's actually very common for most games. But today, I'd really like to try to play this game, at least, with a little more intention. And my opponent does too, apparently, because he's taken a minute in the first two moves. So that's very exciting. All right. Uh, we got some dual four force here. We'll take the left. And, oh man, we could play Kobayashi. No one plays Kobayashi anymore. This would, like, if you play this move, like, you're just telling the world that you're. 40 years old or older. <laughs> like, that's, that's what this says. I'm not 40, though, so I don't think I can play this. Well, in that case, let's play here. <laughs> I bet you all want to see me play Kobayashi. Be like, no, I'm not that old yet. It's going to happen, though. It's going to happen. All right. Uh, that's interesting. I don't feel like this is correct at all, but um, at least in traditional Go, Joseki, and opening theory. I bet the robots don't mind it as much, though. They don't. It's hard for them to, like, <laughs> judge, like, any of these Joseki moves worse than half a point loss. But, man, this feels like a mistake here to me. There's nothing else this, that uh, White's trying to balance with on the, the right side. Yeah, when White comes back and blocks... The stone is actually misplaced. It should be on Q12, it would seem. Uh, so we're going to split it. And, you know, white can work to essentially come around. Oh, wow. It's not even going to do that. I was going to say white can fight here. This does sort of prep the fight. Uh, we can make this fight much more severe, much more quickly. I think just that one is good enough. Um, there's push cut. Like, push cut, we have to keep that in the back of our mind. And so normally, white doesn't want to push cut and then save the cutting stone, essentially, because then this three stones will get attacked. And so the meaning of this move is to actually sort of prep for that fight. Um, normally, Joseki is you push, cut, and then give up the cutting stone to take to come around the outside. Hmm. This is very strange shape. I don't. I like, man. Like I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna play here. Like this is such awkward shape for white. Like how? Like none of these stones are actually connected. I can still split any of them. There's not like territory here yet. And so after this move, there's no more push cut, right? This move undercuts the base and prevents the push cut. So, shoulder hit. We could take this big one. We could even invade right now, but I kind of like the idea of coming back and taking another corner. What a mess of stones. Like, it's not, like, and, I, and I'm, I'm saying that very, with a lot of judgment, let's put it that way. Um, but man, this is a way to grow the bottom. Is very much away. A couple good options here. We can actually just give this up and take the corner. Pretty reasonable. Um, I don't really like cutting through yet. White will just get a stronger, thicker wall. Um, pulling back here, I think this is fine. Again, white will push on it, but we'll both build territory. Uh, and I could even try playing, um, making if I if I didn't want to take the corner or, you know, wasn't concerned about the corner. 
I just wanted to settle I could play this first as well. And I think that might be actually pretty nice. Um, I kind of get slapped here, though. I don't want to get slapped, guys. So let's just play that one. And again, keep... Um, even though even though I think pushing through right now is kind of bad, because white will essentially just build more thickness. You see, white, white is just going all in on this bottom. Isn't that amazing? That's just that's just amazing. We still have this move, so I definitely I definitely don't really want to lean more over there now. This move's quite reasonable. This is greedy, but I can't say that it's wrong. <laughs> Look at this Moyo at the bottom. White is just one track. I ate a bunch of chocolate before recording this video and now like all my saliva is just like... Ugh. Okay, white plays a stone that doesn't help the bottom for like the second time this game. How do we feel about that, gang? I think we should attack it. <laughs> uh, pincer would also seem just fine, but... Oh, wow. Wow. Doesn't even come down. Huh. Well, now we can play both, I guess. Seems pretty reasonable. Big, we have we have, another, we have like the intersection of two moyos here. This point is huge. Mm -hmm. That's kind of expected at this point. Uh, might peep? Do I want to peep? peep? I think we will. Actually, it might be very bad, <laughs> but we're going to continue playing over here. So we'll make white figure it out. Uh, we got a stick to attack, which is great. We really want things to attack. Uh, so we can actually build some center influence naturally, and then we can launch our invasion into the bottom. Um, we are going to take a hit here, though. I think the, the top corner... Okay, I mean... Not that bad of a hit if White's only playing that kind of move. White's just looking to settle. And as... I mean, I mean, we're not really, like, putting severe pressure on White either. This is all very... Very normal. Make that exchange first, huh? I guess that makes sense. I, can't, I wish I could play that, but I can't. So white will just take a stone. Something like Gote. And then maybe we come back here and play this one. Wow, okay. Mm, I'm not sure I agree with that move. This this feels very helpful to me at the top. Wow, okay. Uh, do I play here? Like, like, this is just an illusion, right? This move can't be that big. <laughs> uh, but I still want it. But I also want this. And White seems very invested in this for some reason. Let's even get one exchange. Maybe two. Hmm. We're just gonna basically try to keep white as small as possible. Oh wow, that's the move white plays? That's that's insane, right? I guess that no, white has to play that. There's no other choice. Yeah, because I have a stone here. This is this is gonna be so painful for white. Like look at this. Look at that beautiful empty triangle with two liberties. That's gotta hurt. That is, that is, that is, like if you're a Go player, you just have to feel like you're in pain. <laughs> like, this cut was a complete overplay. This is, if, if I took the top, White should have probably haunted on the bottom. Because you need liberties. Oh man. You just, yeah, you just have to feel this in your soul and sympathize with the white player. That is like, it's just pain. It's, it's like, it's like the equivalent of like a go paper cut. 
like it's not going to kill you per se. Like it's not. We're not talking about like a life threatening injury. We're talking about this like really annoying thing that hurts whenever you like touch anything with your fingers. Which it turns out, you use your fingers a lot, or at least I do. Uh, do I have any other play here? This is kind of an interesting line. It doesn't quite work. Okay, now just play normal. <laughs> or expect it. Maybe not normal. Oh, wow. Now he's going to take the outside. Oh, he figured it out. All right, we'll take our free Atari and then capture three stones. Um, and then white is mostly secure and has more central thickness. So now this point is like, oh my god, big. Atari? Not Atari, okay. That also kind of makes sense, though. Uh, can I play here? It is a good question that I'd like to ask all of you. <laughs> I wish I knew the answer. I, I, I don't have time to play over here. Like, I do need to respond over here. Number one, this group is mostly alive. Um, and I'm not worried about that. But I have this loose, or white has this loose connection here and here. And so this is a kind of a high, high burden area. We'd like to keep it as such. I also have this interesting Hane move first up here. To, I mean, not first, but at any point to expose this cut as well, if I get in here, if I try to invade, I might come into play. Do we just play here? This feel, I, I, I so want a Hane, but it doesn't feel right. I mean, if I Hane, I'm going to get cut. Oh, oh, is this where we just pull back? We, uh, we can Atari, pull back. White kind of has to turn... I think that's okay. I think that's okay. This is going to be a little bit of a fight for a little while. <laughs> I seem to turn. Is this better? I didn't read this move. Or I haven't been reading this move. Um, hmm. Take the peep. I have to be a little bit wary now. However, we can be under start to be undercut. Can I play this one? Not really. <laughs> Not really. Uh, but I think it still might be the best I have available. Like, white will be fine. I'm just looking for something. Alright, this doesn't work at all. <laughs> Because I don't have the liberties, but we can cross cut. Uh, that way. Mm, yeah, that's that seems reasonable. <laughs> Connect. Then here, is this really the best move? I think so. Probably this Atari. Oh, wait a second. How much danger am I? I assumed this was fine, <laughs> but is it fine? It's still fine. Okay. But any Hane, like this Hane is to like everything is Sente. Any any disturbance over here, totally Sente. Fully expect here. Hmm. 
Hmm. This could be quite a fight. Quite a fight. We never played this move. My dream move. This is exactly like everyone's dream house that you never quite get. Never quite get your dream house. It's still just always off in the distance. And it always looks better than it actually is. It's the other thing. People want like big houses with lots of family, th or, uh, with lots of amenities and fancy things. And then you actually, at some point, realize, oh, that's actually a lot of work. <laughs> to take care of all the stuff you barely use. Hmm. What's interesting is it looks like... So I'm getting some sun through the window, and it's showing up on my camera, but not really, like, on the screen. So maybe it's on this side of the... F I can't actually, like, look at my face and look... I can't look at the... I can't look at all the things at the same time! Well, whatever. Hard situation. For everyone. Obviously, if we get into some sort of running fight here, I would love to just, you know, take down part of this wall or even just this one stone. Um, I'm still eyeing this cut here. It seems to be more of a pipe dream, but... Um, you know, maybe, maybe. Very easily could be something there. Opponent's taking a lot of time on this move. Also, my heater just turned on, so hopefully that's not too loud in the mic today. Wow. All right. Can I play here? I, I, I like. I just have to play here, right? Like this. This is just. We want to ask for more. Like the whole the whole point of this is just to keep white with some weaknesses that we can exploit so we can just, you know, find ways to reduce this giant center. That's our plan. Will it work? Nobody knows. But, now you play that. Okay. And that's fine. You are allowed. See, the thing is, I don't really want to take this Atari because it actually forces white to have two eyes. Um... I can actually undercut the white, the white group over here. Oh, he's going to force me to make him have two eyes. That's novel. Do I have? Enough? I don't have enough liberties for this, right? Turns out I'm gonna have this stone's gonna be useful when I run out here. So we will play it. Running out very soon. I don't think I should make this exchange yet, but oh man, does it feel like I should? <laughs> yeah, I think I need the liberty. Okay, it's gonna contest. Oh, it does make his connection center here, but we can live with that for the moment. We're just running now. Like, we're just running inside the white thickness. Now, the good news is if I can get a bamboo joint or some other stronger shape over here and more liberties, then that that becomes sente, right? Because then I can make this cut happen. So white has to be careful. I get I have one extra resource here. I have one opportunity to, to regain tempo. And it really just requires me to have this move. I get this one move here. And, and I should say, this one move and a path outward to gain more liberties. If both those things are true, I gain a free move. And I'm totally, then I'm totally fine. But we'll see. Uh, I'm very sad we can... This is permanent two eyes. This is a nice co-threat. And it actually also helps this group, but hmm, that's about it. Uh, this move is also fairly large. It doesn't quite help right now because I mean, white doesn't really like 
like if white can capture everything over here, I think some. Although I guess I, I guess I'm actually pretty happy with an exchange. If I capture something in here, so this is still kind of a powerful move. Um, I just don't know. I want to use it that way because I still have uh, some sort of intuition that cutting through here or some invasion along the bottom, you know, threatening to link up down here is still possible. Man, what a nice Taijim game. Look at my opponent playing these nice slow moves. How many games on Taijim do you see my opponent taking up more clock time than me? That's rad. Uh, does this work the same way, or does it have to be this one? I feel like it has to be this one. But this one is so much better. <laughs> like, uh, in terms of getting me liberties? Can it be this one? This is crazy, right? can kind of circle around and get out. Hmm. Hmm, why is this going to play there? This is this is the one this is the one I want to play. This is definitely the most dangerous one. By far. Do <laughs> uh, you guys like to live dangerously? Is that what I hear? Is that my understanding of how this all works? This, this very much could be an overplay. I haven't figured it out. I haven't, I haven't seen an obvious refutation, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. And I off, often have a blind spot for these. I should definitely be taking more time. Be like my opponent. That's what I need to learn. Mm -hmm. I see Hani's on the outside and I pull back. Like, we're good. Oh, no, I don't have enough liberties to actually beat this, though. So I still need to find a liberty somewhere. Oh man, now the sun's right in my eyes. All right, now that, I know that shows up on the camera. Whew, look at that. I'm right in the spotlight. All right. It's like just like the sun coming from through like just a couple branches in the tree, just hitting me right in the face. Thank you, sun. I like you too. Let's shut the blind here. Ooh, okay. All right, a little better. I'm gonna turn very red though, I think, and now the camera settings. And I'm also blind, like, I definitely looked at the sun there, and now I see spots. I'm have to play just purely based on feel. <laughs> Can no longer look at the board. Yeah, don't look at the sun. That's really bad for you. It turns out. Giant ball of fire ever present in the sky. It's just up there, you know, just doing its own nuclear business, but don't look at it. Uh, this is the crane's nest shape, I believe is what it's called. And uh, it's often a tesuji shape for, for white to split it right in the middle and short the whole thing of liberties. And so if you haven't seen that before, um, you know, it's, it's a normal, you know, you have a one, two, three, and then a jump away. That's normally a very good shape. But if the stones are lacking liberties, this is the key point, actually. You can short the liberties very quickly at that point. A lot of go problems based on that concept. A lot, a lot. Uh, I'm really impressed at how how diligent my opponent is apparently trying to play. <laughs> this does not happen on Taijim very frequently. This is this is definitely playing go with some intention. Which is great. Uh, is there anything white can do to gain a second eye over here? It really doesn't look like it. 
this this could be sente, right? No, this will never be sente. So and right now white white has only half an eye. But it is it is a sente half eye, right? No, it's not even that. Not even a sente half eye. So this whole white like like this real fight that we're playing. It may look like it's against these two stones. It's actually not really about those two stones. It's really about this whole white group and this black group, this cutting black group. So we're still attacking that stick we talked about earlier on. Like, that's still what's going on. Hmm. Um... Yeah, yeah, I was, I, was, I was about to explore that move. I was like, well, you know, me, it looks like this is the shape point that white should play. Uh, I think we just get out, right? And now we're kind of, we, we're kind of threatening three things. And I love that about Go. Because <laughs> um, we're essentially threatening to come out and around and surround the entire thing. We're threatening to cut here and just chop it into two and attack two different things. And we're still threatening to go after these three stones. And, you know, these two stones we only care about a tiny, tiny bit. Um, because if we can kill this whole group, uh, it's very hard to, for white to win, even if white has this 100-point this bottom. Uh, yeah, very difficult. Very difficult for White to win the game with this as his only territory. Okay, so he's going to elect uh, to not get surrounded on the outside. I feel like that's a that's a good uh, solution or not solution, but answer. Um, I feel like we need to ask that question one more time, <laughs> and then we have this nice key point. Make this other almost pseudo crane's nest shape here. And we can actually run this way for a while. But again, eye on the prize. Eye on the crane. Or not on the crane. Eye on the giant white group at the top. This is very secondary right now. And again, white. We're waiting for that moment when white really owes me a move. Oh, there is... There is uh, oh, dear. Yeah, there is a problem here. right? And again, it's a crane's nest to Suji problem. If I cut... I have to end in Gote, right? The cut is Gote. Because white will cut back, and I have to take. And then white has this wedge here. Which I have to respond to with Atari, and then I have to fix again. Um, okay. Oh, man, do I get to play this move I've been wanting to play, like, the entire game? I don't think so. <laughs> But a boy can dream. The dream home. The dream home could be real. I don't think we can quite pull it off yet. It feels like the wedge is uh, too good for white. Cut, yeah. I don't think so. Uh, is this just good enough? Like, just getting more liberties? I'd love to lean on this. Oh, if I lean on this once, then can I just play my dream home move? My dream home... And then white still kind of has all the trouble. This move is good. How does white respond to this? It's so ugly. It's so ugly. See, I'd much rather just get solid and then, like, do something more drastic in here than just use this Aji immediately. Because this doesn't do a lot. Let's get more liberties. For yeah, we actually we don't have that many again because of this crane's nest. Like, I bait like if I want to take this cut, I essentially have have uh, is it just one liberty in here? And this whole all this inside stuff is one liberty, effectively, I think. But this 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 move we gotta play this soon. I think this just makes white go ugh. <laughs> Although, if white, white, like, white doesn't want to play this either, because it's not like white's making good eye space, so maybe I don't actually need this. Like, it's a good shape point, but not a great shape point. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, I guess if everything comes down to capture races, I will want this. Hmm. Hard to tell. See, the thing is, if I, if I was just going to play my dream home move now, I'd actually want to play this one instead to link up everything, not this one. Isn't that sad? Like, you dream about your dream home, and then you actually never... Like, you see it. You, like, you go visit it. You, do, you go to the open house. And you're even thinking about putting in an offer. At the last minute, you're like, no, I don't want my dream home. That's not right. That's not the right home for me. Hmm. Okay, well, we talked about this. None of us should be surprised. <laughs> hmm. Play it. I mean, it's basically free point. We now have a solid, like, 35 points at the top. Maybe, actually, it's not solid. The corner's still invadable, but uh, <laughs> this is this is quite a nice chunk of territory. How big is this bottom, really? Let's, let's do a little counting. Um, let's give it that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's about 70 points. 70-ish. And if this is 35, pick up another 10, and optimistically 10 here, another 20, 55. I haven't counted the left as anything, but it looks like there could easily be 20 to 30 points there. Corner's still open. I'm still kind of planning on taking this corner. Hmm. Yeah, maybe, maybe I really should have pushed up. Oh, he's going to take away this Aji right now. Oh, he's going to try to find an eye. Is that, is that good? <laughs> Though, this gives me this sente move. He's going to jump out. So, can I be cut? Okay, should I? I should just cut now, right? Is it time to kill stuff? Do I even play here first? Does it matter? Hmm. How does this work? There, there, there. I guess actually we don't want we we. Um. Yeah, we don't want to play this yet because we might want to actually play this one. So we definitely don't want to make this exchange. <laughs> I think. So do we cut? We just go for it. I mean, this is like, this is way too solid, right? Like, I don't need this. Anyone? Bueller? It is, it is, it, oh man, but this is such a, it is a good move. <laughs> I do give it that. Yeah, because the white still needs to have time to play this. All right, let's just link up. This is, I know, I know, pedal of the metal. We have this cut here, we should probably take it. Like, white has to play this now. Like, white does anything else. We just separate. Okay. Fine. <laughs> We're all safe. I mean, these two stones are screwed, but that's fine. <laughs> we can cut here now. Overtime countdown has begun. Our opponents in overtime. That's always good. Um, and actually now with this connection, we can actually now start looking at things in here a little bit more aggressively. Um, although we're not we're not done with this white group either by any means, so don't don't <laughs> don't think we're Nine, leaving all this. Eight, seven, I'm just trying eight, to maximize five, white's problems. Four, so let me turn three, that down. Two, oh. four, zero, two overtime. Wow, it's already eaten a bioyomi, and I saw six minutes on the clock. This this never happens in Thai gym. What are we gonna do down here? This looks like the obvious move, but. 
just gives up. Just gives up the, you know, 30-point corner. Okay, <laughs> that's that's reasonable. <laughs> like, like, there's just a point where you just have to, like, cut your losses. Be like, no, we can give up a 30-point corner and a 35-point top and just live small. And yeah, White has no time to invade here because this is all struggling. All right, last Piyomi. All right, can I get this to work? Is the question. I think White will just back off. I don't think this will actually do much. Like it only does something if White gets really aggressive. <laughs> Which maybe White has to because White White's at this point kind of needing every point. If uh, White's just giving this up. Mm hmm. So, do I get in trouble with this? Nah, that should be fine. Let's take a peep there. Oh, I do get in trouble with that. Huh. Famous last words. Does this, will this get me in trouble? Yep. <laughs> Sure did. All right. Got to play there, I think, white. I'm going to play there first. Um, I mean, that's kind of reasonable, but we'll, we'll preserve this. We'll pretend there's still something here with this cut. So we get this turn, and then we can play here. So we can pop out any eyes that are possible over here. Oh no, we can't because he responds to the bamboo joint. That's right. We have to we have to play this one to pop out eyes. Oh, I'm gonna get attacked. He's gonna attack. He's gonna attack the whole thing. This whole stick. Well, that's exciting. Uh, Do I have enough liberties to just cut like this? Oh, all right. Intention. We got five minutes on the clock here. We can figure this out. I'm almost certain. Maybe. Are we strong enough to play this move when we need it? This is a key point. There, 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 there. Wow. Wow. It's actually helpful to, um, for White that he didn't force me to capture this in the sequence. I, I still think it works fine for me, but like he does get an extra liberty that way, which is interesting and unexpected. Um, problem with this move doesn't doesn't seem that bad. It's just missing the shape point. Like it seems like this works. It's just I want to play there because that's that's where it's at. All right, but we'll play there first and just ask. Like, would you like to make shape? The last overtime. Man, this one stick group, we're still not alive with it. <laughs> oh no, we we oh no, he can do this in Sente, right? He can he can make this exchange in Sente. But if he forgets to, I can always just back out this way, right? Like I'm not he has to find time for it. But it's easy. It's, it's always sente, so it's like it's easy. It's actually, I guess, quite easy to find time. It's really not that big a deal. Okay, he found the time. <laughs> Very good. But now that means that means I don't have to worry about this move at all. This move just totally works. To pop out the eyes over here. Uh, is that bad timing? That's bad timing, right? I just play here. So what's well, how much danger am I getting into? A lot. Okay. Should I reconsider? No. I like getting in danger. It's it's fun. He's got to connect there. Oh no, he can play. He can play. He can 
make some other exchanges first, like here. That's probably a good idea. He can force a capturing race here. And I think I'll win it, but then he might be able to get to kill this. Well, I'm busy managing that. I don't know. Oh, that way. Is it the same? I think it's the same. All right. Well, all right. Actually, it's not a, yeah, if we're doing it this way, there's, yeah, he, there's no cut at all. Never mind. Never mind. Totally lied. Not a caption race. White just got cap. Everything at the top of the board is dead. <laughs> like, as far as white's concerned, there is nothing, nothing to do. Uh, all right. Let's play here. We have this follow up too. Probably should clamp. Yep. Okay. How do we how do we manage this? This doesn't really work. We're a little bit worried. Um, like we only killed half of it. We should have probably responded over here first and just left that for later. I got I got too greedy. I was like, let's kill stuff. You know, you guys have been there. <laughs> I know I know how you guys play go. <laughs> So this just says nothing works. Nothing works. I don't see it. And he got to. When did he get to play this move? When did this stone get there? Oh right, when he was attacking this whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. I'm amused. I'm amused. Uh, can we play? Can we play this one? I'm not sure we can, but I want to. Uh, what do we have here? We have this move. We can try for this move. We still have this move, but again, we want to save that in our back pocket. What is the best way? Show me the way. This move's interesting too. I feel like it's got. We got it. We got to divert a little bit. We can't. Nothing directly works. So I'm kind of becoming a fan of this move. This move there, and then wedge. That looks kind of good, actually. All right, I'll try it. <laughs> He's in the last beauty on me, too. Am I missing something? This wedge. This wedge works, right? I mean, I should have playing with intention today after a member. I need to uh, actually read this out. <laughs> you should definitely take the outside. Yeah, because the timing the timing of this is important. Yeah, that is correct. Uh, is there a way? Do I just take I just take this now, right? And just ask. Okay, he says no. And this is Atari. That still doesn't make this work. Um, but it does make this work. So he's got to play here, and then we kill these. All right, we got something. We're just we're just gonna keep killing stuff. Uh, what's the best way? This oh, does this work? This is better than I thought actually, because then I get a little bit further in. This looks good. Let's do it. And now we have this move, as well. So we gave up over here. Much sads. But how much is this top worth? Oh my god. Uh, well, the top the top is just a clean, like, 76 Eight. points. <laughs> oh yeah, he resigned. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and I think he wants a rematch, but we'll refuse. All right, good game, good game. Uh, yeah, yeah. At the end, even though even though we died over here and White picked up 
you know, this is not small. Like this whole thing over here, what is this? Like 40 points? You got a 40 point left. Um, not much you can do in the bottom, right? Your undercut over here and over here. No, I don't, I don't want to accept any more games. So there's not much at the bottom. And yeah, white may have gotten these 40 points and these five points, four points here. Um, but after that, there is just so little, so little left on this board. And that top is just huge. That's a lot of points. Um, cause I would like, oh man, can we do a, if we do the review, will this tell us things? Estimate. Yes. I would like an estimate. Uh, yes, it's black is the winning by 55. So not close. So this exchange, you know, even though, even though I lost a group, <laughs> I, sh I like, I shouldn't be as sad about it as I am, <laughs> right? We still totally conquered the center, ruined the overall strategy and should be quite happy. Um, Let's go back a little bit. And I wonder if we'll just look at a key moment here, what the AI says at this moment. Oh, it says black. Oh, no, that's at the end. No, I don't. Okay. Taijim AI, I'm not used to you. Oh, it really, it really, the AI never thought it was actually that close. I thought, I thought in here it would be a little bit closer. Um, but now the AI, I thought, no, I don't want to. AI window, I lost you. Come back, please. No, oh, I said come back here. Okay. Yeah, the AI actually thought it was much further apart than I thought. Because I'm already already here, I'm already like in a 70% win percentage. You have a game <sighs> Okay. Anyway. Um, yeah, I'm happy. I feel like, I feel like I slowed down a little bit more than just like clicking random moves on my phone. And so, you know, new year, I hope that all of you guys sort of, sort of do the same, right? In your own playing, if you do anything, just try to play with a little more intention. Um, don't just use it as a time waster because Go is totally worthy of study. And you know what? If you do use it as a time waster, that's fine too. Like, like don't, this is not shaming people who want to play the game to, you know, just spend some time doing something they like. Um, but, oh man, there's so many good things that are great time wasters. And uh, Go is so rich uh, of a world to explore. It is totally worth playing with intention. So I guess that's that's the conclusion of my message today. Anyway, happy going. 